Hi, Jason Teller from AudiWorld.com with your report for September 24th. Three things today. Forbes releases a list of the 10 easiest cars to bargain for, and there's an Audi on it. The new S4, how good are the emissions from this new supercharged engine? And uh, a little tidbit on the TTS, which makes an appearance at the TT West event going on right now uh, in the Western US. First, the Forbes list. Top 10 easiest cars to bargain for. What would it be? Uh, we all know large SUVs, trucks, these vehicles are out of favor with the fuel uh, prices today. And it's no surprise then the Q7, which gets an average fuel economy of 16 miles per gallon combined uh, is on the list. Um, just for comparison's sake, the Escalade Cadillac's uh, big truck is on there as well. Its, its mileage is even worse at a combined 14 miles per gallon. Um, the interesting thing from the article is Forbes claims that Q7s are now selling for $4,700 or more below sticker. Uh, that's MSRP and in many cases below dealer cost. So dealers are just trying to get these V8s off their lot. Um, times are tough, fuel is expensive. Q7, great car, maybe it came to market at the wrong time. Um, our second piece of information again is about the 2010 S4. It's got that great three liter TFSI or supercharged engine in it. Now, Audi's reported 30% better emissions from this power plant, and that's 30% relative to the outgoing V8 S4. Okay, that's good, right? Better performance, better torque, uh, better acceleration, better fuel economy, and yes, better emissions too. It's all relative though. Compared to class leading emissions vehicles, Things like the uh, Prius and the Ford Focus Econetic, uh, two times worse. Um, that said, those cars have no shot of going 0 to 60 in 5.1 seconds, so I guess it's all relative. And now the TTS at the TT West event. Audi of America contacted us uh, late last week to ask if we'd be interested in driving a Eurospec TTS between Jackson Hole, Wyoming and Salt Lake City uh, today. Unfortunately, due to other commitments, we had to decline, and we now understand that another publication took our spot, and we're sure that we'll see a report from them soon. But in any case, um, two TTSs were graciously provided by Audi of America to the TT West Enthusiast event. Um, there's quite a bit of chatter about the TTS on the forums today. One reader asks, why no manual transmission uh, to be offered in the U.S. market? Of course, the TTS will come to us in only the S-Tronic, which is a six-speed uh, paddle-shifted uh, transmission. And the answer to that really comes down to numbers. Audi had to decide um, how to spec this car for the U.S. market. And uh, given the number of uh, TTS is expected to be sold, they had to standardize with one transmission. Um, the S-Tronic really isn't bad. I think most enthusiasts would prefer a manual shift, uh, of course, for more control and just the pure driving pleasure. But... Uh, I think it just comes down to numbers. Um, we also see pricing being released, and not sure if this is official. It seems to come from an Audi dealer that spends time online. They say forty-five thousand five hundred as the base price for the coupe, and uh, forty-seven five hundred for the Roadster. Now, that's pretty amazing pricing if you think about it. Uh, it was nearly the exact same numbers that were quoted in the introductory uh, article, only in euros. So about forty-five thousand euro. Um, for the TTS in the European market and 47.9, uh, I believe, for the Roadster. So it really is, given the uh, upside down exchange uh, rate right now, uh, a relatively good value. Um, the TT, of course, made its uh, worldwide debut at Frankfurt in 1995. Uh, production started in 98, and TTS really marks sort of the pinnacle of TT production. Uh, it's been 10 years. And uh, this TTS is marked by a number of, um, you know, s special improvements, uh, higher output engine, although it is just the four-cylinder uh, two-liter TFSI uh, engine, um, special packaging inside and out. It's got the, the gorgeous LED lighting on the front. Um, it's got a distinctive grill, although the jury's out. Some people uh, are, are not huge fans of that. And, um, you know, some other features that make it a quote-unquote S model. So look for the TTS and a full review from Audi World as soon as we can get some seat time in it. Uh, thanks. That's everything for September 24th.